Hello everyone. Welcome to another informative episode on White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. I just want to give you an update on what is happening here with my sweet potatoes that I grew from skin. The leaves have holes in them. There is no sign of pests, but the leaves are developing holes in them. I haven't grown potatoes in over a decade. Well, sweet potato, so I don't remember if this is normal. But as you can see, my leaves are curling under. When leaves curl upwards, it is usually usually an indication of the plant having pest problems or some nutrient nutrients deficiency however when your leaves curl down it is either an indication that you have overwatered or you have overfed your plant or overfeed your plant I haven't added any nutrients to this uh, to this container since I started the experiment but um, in my in a previous video I showed where I was making my potting mix and I use one-third soil one-third casting and one-third compost and the compost that I use is one that I got from the city so that compost obviously is very potent and so now I know that if I'm using that to make my potting mix then I have to use a smaller portion because this is going to be the result I'm just watching to see if it's gonna get any worse than that but anyway this is what is happening with my sweet potato. They are doing pretty well in terms of growth. So I am quite pleased with that. But what we have here is about three, in my hand here, is about three plants or three slips. Everything else, even though they started growing before this larger one that I showed you, Everything else just remains small, so I think I might be having a light issue. So the plan is to, every now and then, I rotate these on the windowsill so that the shorter plants can get more sunlight. Here, I went to the store and I saw them, I saw some lemongrass. And since as the one that I was growing last year died, so I decided I'm going to buy these to see if maybe I can get it to grow in water. The plant, when I bought it, looked almost dry. I didn't know if whether or not it would send root. So I put it in this container at water. And thankfully, both of them are sending roots. There's a tiny bit of growth there, but that's where it stops. It hasn't grown since that came up about a week ago, but at least it is growing roots. So I might be able to get a lemon grass from this. The lemon grass that I was growing before, I bought it as a plant at one of the greenhouses. But this time I'm trying to grow, to grow it from clippings. Now in this container here I have Japanese yam, the peel, just the peel. I am attempting to grow it the way I am growing the sweet potato. So there I have one sprout. This came up several days ago but I haven't seen anything any other sign of growth 
this is taking longer to sprout than the sweet potato did this pieces of skin is growing out of it's pushing out of the soil so I'm going to have to put a bit more soil on top of it right so that is the only thing the only slip I see coming up I am hoping that it will actually grow and do well even if it is just the one slip then I can get several from it so hopefully that one will survive and I will see more growth anyway this is my update on my sweet potatoes that I'm growing from skin so if you enjoy this video and you find it informative please take a moment to like share and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day